heat, nourishment, transportation, communication, annihilation. Fire made us warriors and builders and explorers. That was a bit from the new series, Origins, The Journey of Humankind, premiering on the Nat Geo channel Monday, March 6th. The eight-part series shows how mankind became modern through a full sensory time travel adventure, finding the pivotal origin moments fueling our evolutionary ascension. It is hosted by Jason Silva, who joins us now to discuss. Hi, Jason. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. It's so great to be here. You are also a consultant on the show, mm -hmm. developing this show. Yeah. Tell us, how is the story of our evolution told? Is it, is it dramatic? Is it scripted? Or yeah. is it a documentary? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's a hybrid. It's a format that sort of mashes different styles together. So the show has a sort of, a, a sort of non-fiction component, the hosted element. Think, yes. you know, Morgan Freeman in Through the Wormhole <laughs> or Carl Sagan doing Contact. And that's my role. I'm, I'm your guide. I'm your navigator. I'm taking you on this journey. And we have... This You're is, connecting the dots for us yes, as we go. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. There's an insane set with insane backdrops. And so I'm taking you on the ride. Then we have these intensely cinematic, rich visual historical recreations that are, I guess, more cinematic, more on the scripted side. Mm -hmm. We shot in South Africa. They shot for 75 days, like unbelievably stunning. And so I sort of unpack every episode with these symphonies, as we call yes. them, where I kind of riff and rant about what you're going to see and explain it to you and set it up. And then we cut to these like vignettes. And then I come in in the middle of them sometimes to connect the dots. And so we, we mash up formats. And it really is fantastic. It's such a, a visual sort of treat t to see. Yeah. And of course, fire sure. being the first one, such yeah. an important moment yeah. in our evolution. Definitely. Is fire really the reason we came together and formed societies? Yeah. You know, there's a great book called How Cooking Made Us Human. Yeah. And it talks about the, the pivotal role that domesticating fire played in our species. You know, I mean, before that, we spent all of our time foraging for food, right. eating raw food all the time. And running from scary things. Sure, yeah. <laughs> when you cook, when you have fire and you start cooking for the first time, it makes every meal more efficient, right? Every meal more bioavailable, right. which means you stay full for longer. And so for the very first time, humans had leisure. From leisure came arts, crafts, culture. So without cooking acting as an external stomach yes. that pre-digested our food, making it more efficient, nothing else would have occurred. And it amazingly, at the same time, drew us together in the sort of circular, literally the circular Sitting gathering. Sitting around the campfire telling stories. Right, sure. where we, we yeah. looked at each other eye to eye Definitely. and had these exchanges. Yeah, you know? and it was also a weapon, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, fire could cook our food, but also burn the next village. So it introduces the double-edged sword of technology yes. that it amplifies, but it also Just amputates. Drugs, yes. and then you have that amazing recreation of the, the London fire of... Yeah. 1666, That's right. That's which right. just changed, yeah. changed civilization in some yeah. ways. That's yeah, well, I mean, ways. yeah, it shows how from destruction can come creation. And, right. it's, you know, it's tragic to say that. But, you know, when you, when you look back, you see that a lot of things that went wrong set the stage for things to then go right. Go right. And so this is an eight-part series. What yeah. can we look forward to in the coming, yeah. in, in the further series? Sure. So the first episode is fire. And then every episode after that looks at a particular origin moment for something that changed the human story. So we have an episode on communication, Fabulous. which looks at how the origins of spoken language, right? For the very first time, we're sharing our thoughts, right, wirelessly. The first wireless information technology is language. Incredible. That was a singularity. If you draw a line in the sand from early hominids pre-language to humans on the other side of that line, that would be unimaginable to early humans. It's like, you know, in so inconceivable. And then from that, from spoken language to the internet, where we share where our we are thoughts now. Social across media. the world yeah, billions yeah. of times every day, wirelessly. I mean, incredible trajectory. That we have transportation, we have war, we have medicine, and we look back at all those key origin moments. What about fin events. being the Wall Street Journal? You look at money too, right? Yes, How finance right. also is developed. That's right, which is a consensual hallucination, <laughs> right. a <laughs> symbolic construct that's necessary, right? right, in order to collaborate and cooperate, which, as you were mentioning, Harari, Harari before, says we all have to collaborate on yes, these narratives. Yes. If we don't, it all falls apart, right? Hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, it, it, it's it's. We need to have a, a consensus, mm. a, a, sim a shared symbolic reality, a virtual reality. Yes. But, you know, it, that doesn't make it any less real, right? right. A virtual reality is still patterns of information. So we need to 
have consensus, share imagination together to build a modern world. Fascinating stuff, a fascinating series. You are clearly passionate about it, which makes everyone want to watch. I hope so. <laughs> so March 6th premieres yes. on the Nat Geo channel. Correct. Jason Silva, thank you so much thank for that. Thank you, thank you.